Hello YouTube, Ace here, and today we are going to be having our first uh, look at a Let's Play. And today, I figured we'd best start with uh, the first game that I've ever actually beat, and this is Super Godzilla. Uh, I've actually done a video before on this, actually reviewing it. came out way back in 1993, uh, for the Super NES, obviously. And, well, other people have had a look at this game. I would say it's... It's an unusual game. That's the best way to start off. It's they a lot of people have called it a fighting game, which if you actually look at it, it's not really all that uh, all that comparable to fighting games, and most people will openly admit this. So, anyways, let's get started here. Okay, so uh, what this is at here is the uh, map screen of the game, which uh, when you ever start a level here, you always go through this area, uh, go through the map screen first. To try to go find a monster to go fight. So yeah, now we're going to be getting attacked by this tank here, but if we head up north, there we go. We just killed the tank. Hooray! Now, uh, you'll be wondering what exactly I'm doing, and well, I just, uh, you can actually pick up power-ups and different items that do different things. In this case, it was a little warp item, which warped me to another part of the map, which, that's good to know. Um, okay, so we'll go down here, and we've picked up a defense increase item, which, of course, if when you uh, use it during the, uh, the monster fights, will actually, of course, help protect you. Now, let's see. Okay, so it looks like we're in 2A right now. And we've picked up... Uh, okay, so basically a health uh, regen item, for lack of better words. And at this point, you might actually be recognizing a certain other genre of game a little bit. Because if anything, when I talk about uh, this game not really being a fighting game, well, this is more of a... This is more actually a, a uh, very, very light JRPG, which might sound very unusual, but... And also very bizarre move on the part of Toho for making their game this way, but that's what we have. So, let's get to the monster fight here. Alright, so the red dot is the one we're trying to get to, and we've made it. Now... So it should be somewhere around here. Yep. Now, even when, even compared to JRPGs, though, this is a very, very bizarre game. And you're going to find out during the middle of this. It, first of all, it has very, very little, very few JRPG elements in it. I mean, you do have the item pickups. Uh, you do, of course, roam around about. You even have uh, random encounters starting in the second level, which we're going to see later on, but at the same time, uh, Godzilla doesn't really level up a lot, and she does level up a little bit, uh, but it's not in the ma but it's not, well, it's very, very, how best to explain, <laughs> but I you'll just have to see, uh, because, okay, first we attack with, uh, basically how the combat system works in this game, though, is we punch to signal that we're going to do an attack of some sort, then fall back, uh, which opens up a little attack window, which actually gives us what actual attack we're going to do. Now, if you see the two bars uh, in the middle of the screen, basically, these are the two attack or aggressive bars for the various monsters, and you have the hit points or energy for Godzilla and for King Ghidorah. Uh, the way this works is the monsters that you fight all have their own little different patterns, and it's all about understanding the patterns of these monsters, and then finding a uh, like finding an opening like right now. There we go. Uh, I am actually playing this not on an actual Super NES, but actually I am using ZNES on this, which is why you are going to be seeing this in 1080. All right? Ah, atomic breath, awesome. Now. Uh, 
later on in the game, Godzilla does get powered up, which I'm not going to spoil that, uh, although if you've seen my review, you will know what ultimately happens. I think he also uh, becomes more powerful also. The uh, more you play through the various... Uh, the further you get through the game just by through sheer levels, Godzilla just gets more energy. And we've just did a super blast attack, which should really hurt uh, King Ghidorah there. Oh, not good, not good. <laughs> now he's gonna counterattack. Um, every once in a while, if you attack the monster enough, it will of course make him mad and cause this to happen. Now we can retreat from the fight if we need to. We can retreat from the fight if we absolutely need to. And we can also use items that we uh, pick up you know, on the map screen. Uh, you can also see, I go through the buildings and all that to get from point A to point B a little bit faster, although you will knock off a little bit of health, which... Oh, whew, that was close. <laughs> uh, which is one of the reasons, by the way, one of the cr criticisms that people have for this game is the fact that Godzilla takes some damage when you go through buildings. It's not a whole lot, it's very minuscule, but it does happen. Alright, and you also, of course, take damage from tanks. Well, in fact, I think I might have actually taken just as much damage from the tanks at this point as I have from King Ghidorah, which is hilarious, but uh, that's the reality of the situation. So anyways. I think one more attack ought to do it. Oh, he's got him at first, okay. Um, well, fair enough. Alright. It does knock you back. Oh, knocka, 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 knocka. Oh, oh dear. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, well, I guess it's a good opportunity for me to uh, use... Uh, that healing item I picked up, so, yeah. Let's see, yeah, let's remember which button was it? it was, here we go. Uh, there we go. So, it's, I haven't played this game in a good long while, as I'm sure you can tell, but it's, uh, R to, uh, select items, and L to use them, so, good to know. Alright, so I think we, ooh. That was close. Alright, come on. I think also the aggressive meter for Godzilla also influences just how powerful his attacks can get, which is a good thing. Um, this should end the match right here. Alright, or it should end the fight anyways. Yep, here we go. So we've just defeated King Ghidorah, which causes this cutscene to play. Um, if anyone's familiar with uh, the Godzilla movies that came out in the 90s, especially Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, this might be a little bit of a hint as to some of the stuff that happens later on in this game. A little bit of spoilers there. Okay, so energy, this affects our score. I think this might actually impact the amount of uh, health bonus that we get. My uh, watch is ringing there, sorry. Get this fixed or not. But apparently, uh, so that's, yeah, that's our score, and I, like I said, I think it might impact our health in the game. And as far as the plot is concerned, um, I think we, I think uh, most people who have actually seen uh, Godzilla movies or are Godzilla fans will know that uh, at this point of the 90s, in fact, at the point of the mid-70s, one of the main go-to plots was, of course, Earth being invaded by aliens. They first did it, at, or being attacked by aliens, they first did it with Godzilla vs. Monster Zero in, I believe, 65. But, and while it was unusual at that time, by the 90s, hands down, it became one of the go-to plot points. So, aliens send monsters down to fight Godzilla. Godzilla fights said monsters. And you can pretty much see how that plays out. Anyway, so. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to show one more fight after uh, this little match here. And I think I'll just call it uh, a day as far as the Let's Play is concerned. I am going to be 
of course, finishing this game. This, like I said, the first game I actually ever beat, so... So hopefully... This should... This Let's Play should turn out just as well. Let's see. Oh, so apparently the attacking monster in this case is Godzilla. Now, another little um, hint here. If you've seen other Godzilla movies, especially from the 70s, if you've seen all the Godzilla movies from the 70s, this is a good hint about what's to ex what you can expect with this little level. Now, these little dots here on the map that you just popped up are landmines, and you should try to avoid them whenever possible. Because they do a lot of damage. Ah, we're going to get our first random encounter now. Hooray! Now, the problem is with this case, uh, for whatever reason, unlike most JRPG games, and like I said, this is about as light of a JRPG as you can get, but this came out at the time. JRPGs weren't very... Well, they were still fairly new territory, but anyways, in this case, uh, it should be mentioned that... This case, but in this case, random encounters are actually something you should deliberately try to avoid because it runs down the timer in this game. Yes, there is a timer, and it also, of course, will drain your health to an extent if you get hit because they do have laser beams, that sort of thing. Anyways, so let's pick up this item. Oh, he's in area 2A. That's actually good information to know. So he's in the top left corner there. All right, so the blue icons in this game a side... oh, we're running into a uh, mountain here, so yeah, mountains are jet, and this level are treated like boulders everywhere, or uh, buildings everywhere else, and it's cost us four health. Not a whole lot, but it... Now, another thing to mention is that if the random encounters seem repetitive in this game, uh, that is one of the weak parts of the game, is that the random encounters are just bad in general. Uh, you do have the ability to, however, get rid of them, which is actually, a, like I said, it's a good thing and it's actually encouraged. Okay, so what you do... Ah, we've picked up a time-stopping item, uh, so the counter will be stopped for That's good. Okay, so anyways... Uh, what you do is you go up to the little red circle thing, which is in the middle of the map right there, which is the mothership of the UFOs. And this will allow you to... This will allow you to... Uh, let's, let's not go that way, let's go this way. Uh, no, no, never mind. We'll just take the damage and deal with it. Anyways, this should allow us to avoid random encounters from now, which is a good thing. Uh... However, this is tougher to actually do than the other UFO fights. Not by a whole lot, because it's only 150 hit points, but... Yeah. You know, it, this thing also really likes to move around, so that can be a bit of an annoyance. Okay. There we go. Now... When this game came out in 93, these uh, sprite things... Now, maybe it's just me because, again, first game I ever beat, so there's a lot of nostalgia to this, but I really did like the animations when this first came out, and it still has its charm to it. Alright, so, ah, here we go. Now, you don't want to get under this thing because it has a little force shield thing that'll actually damage you if you try it. So let's wait until he drops down. Come on. Hey, think. Right, so we can also use this little defense thing to calm the uh, Godzilla down, which is useful. I think it also increases defense. Ooh, I just got rid of our. Just got rid of our attack, which is very unfortunate. However, here we go. This should end the fight here. Uh, these kind of scenes are unskippable, which. It's a good thing that they don't get that old. It's a good thing they still remain somewhat entertaining. At least they do for me, but yeah, you might be different. Anyways, so that should put an end to the random encounters. And it also is important in this level in particular because it prevents uh, the monster that we're fighting, which is apparently Godzilla, but yeah. Okay, 
let's get out of here as quickly as possible. There we go. Now, we should be able to make it over to this new monster and fight this Godzilla that they're calling. Near Mount Fuji, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, this game does like to give you all kinds of landmarks and all that to go to. Uh, another little touch in this game is that when you go into water tiles, and especially with deep water tiles, it actually decreases your movement speed. And the same to a lesser extent... Ah. So, it's, so this will basically boost Godzilla's attack. Alright, so yeah. Now let's get some power uh, from the from one of these nuclear power plants that just scatter all of these maps. You know what? Should I go for the second one? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I think the game actually penalizes you on the score because uh, Godzilla is supposed to be the good guy in this game, so it actively does penalize you on your score a little bit for destroying buildings and probably... and probably also these mountains, although... Now it doesn't look Godzilla's health has changed, so I, I have actually been mistaken on that, so... All right, so let's see who this... Let's find this mythical imposter. All right. If I remember correctly... If I remember correctly, his attack spirit's gonna go down. There we go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> but, well... I think we saw that coming. It's actually Mecha Godzilla. Now, this game came out in uh, 93 again, which means that it came out the same year as Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2. And if you know your Godzilla history, you'll know that this is, in fact, the original Mecha Godzilla. I'm guessing that they knew that they were going to do a Mecha Godzilla movie, but they didn't finalize the design at this point, so. Yeah, they go. Oh no, not good, not good. Uh, something to mention with these monster battles in this case. Um, with Mechagodzilla and after him, you're going to see a you're going to see a lot of monsters uh, that actually can counter certain attack types. In the case of Mechagodzilla, you cannot use atomic breath on him. Not again. Yep, using the finger missiles on me. Alright, so let's see what we can do about that. Another tail swipe adding. That should do. Let's see. I think I probably should use this to boost the fighting spirit. Ouch! That did not feel good. Um, so yeah, he has all kinds of little attacks. Uh, just okay, so down soon. There we go. Come on. Got it. Yes! Okay, so the two okay, so while the original atomic breath does not work, but the normal atomic breath, super atomic breath does actually go through his little barrier, which you're gonna see right about now. And this is going to be epic. Also, I do like the soundtrack to this. It's this game's got a decent battle sound. It's just not actual Godzilla music, but we're not from the, uh, not good. Oh, there we go. Uh, not from, well, the movies or anything, but you know what? It works. Um, oh, not good, not good, not good. Okay. There, that should do. Yeah, but the way the fighting spirit works, it makes it more likely for you to get better attacks, which is a pretty good thing. Uh, 
Not good, not good, not good. There we go. To be fair, the, this little animation is kind of... Oh, not... <sighs> this is turning into a bad case of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. do. I also like how the animations for... how the animations for... there we go. His, uh... his ram attack... Godzilla's ram attacks change. Or have at least some variety, even though we are seeing the, the limit of that variety. There we go, that was close. <laughs> oh dear. So, a few more hits on it. Not good, not good, not good. Let's there we go. Let's see where that brings us. Probably, yeah, it's gonna take at least one more hit to do the job, but... Oh, no! <laughs> I still think we're going to win this one pretty easily, but... But yeah, we still have to keep on our toes about this one. Okay. Yep. That should do. That should be the end of it. Oh! <laughs> you got to be kidding me! Take that! Uh, that's the end of it! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens this time. Well, well, that was good. All right, so I think that's we're gonna wrap up this first little let's play. Um, hope to see you again soon for round two, where we do the next two boss battles. And assuming all goes well with that, we will have the last two as well, and that'll be it. And yes, we did get penalized for destroying two buildings. But, but we, but yeah, that was a fun match. That was a fun level. All right, so that should about do it. Ace out.